Hello, everybody. I'm Krasi. We'll be looking at the next 15 days after the appearance of the first lunar crescent on the 19th of June. As you know, what we call the new moon is not when the sun and the moon are conjoined in one de in the same degree, but it is really what new moon is when the moon is appearing on the western horizon uh, in the evening after the sun is setting. So this is happening on the 19th of June and the moon is appearing <clears throat> in the vicinity of the great twins, the two stars, uh, Pollux and Castor, which uh, in the Babylonian mythology are Gilgamesh and Enkidu. One of them, Gilgamesh, is, is um, human and uh, and, uh, and the god divinity because his mother was a goddess and he was a uh, ruler ruler of um, the ancient city of Ur for for hundreds of years and Gilgamesh and Enkidu was actually his friend the one who had very pure natural wild origin so these are the two great twins and Castor and Pollux the moon appears there Gilgamesh is uh, representing, you know, the star Pollux. He's representing uh, masculine, warlike um, ambition, behavior. He wanted to also to live forever, to have eternal life. The story is very interesting. And uh, Enkidu is the one who comes from the nature. He's, um, he's pure, he's wild, he's mortal. And he is more like representing the spirituality. So both these two beautiful stars will be emphasized with the appearance of the first lunar crescent. Also beautifully, Saturn turns uh, um, direct now. Retrograde, apologies. Saturn turns retrograde to be retrograde up until, I think, 6th of November. I have a separate video only about the retrogression of Saturn. Uh, he's doing this in Aquarius, in the vicinity of um, of Hout, very spiritual star. So, um, and interestingly, when he turns retrograde, he will be having exact sextile uh, from Jupiter, who is equally powerful in Aries. So, um, this is very benevolent. Actually, this can be fin financially benevolent uh, for some, uh, because, you know, Saturn is very important for the finances, very important for abundance, very important because Jupiter can give the, uh, the can create the abundance, but Saturn needs to really allow it. So then also we will be having in approximately 10 days from now, uh, a B sextile on the sky, which is double sextile, a Saturn to Jupiter, Jupiter to the sun, which is benevolent. People with ascendants, uh, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini will feel this positively for their businesses, for media work, for um, travel even, uh, for some negotiations which would involve property, maybe. Um, anyhow, it is a very interesting, it's a good thing. We should not forget in the meantime that Venus is not very powerful. She is in Cancer with Mars. On the 30th of June, Mars is leaving Cancer, which is better to tell you because um, and because when he leaves Cancer, he will be creating trying to, uh, to Jupiter, which is better. And secondly, Mars in Leo is more benevolent as he has some powers in Leo. So, um, yes, he will receive a position from Saturn, no doubt about that, but Mars in Cancer fallen uh, is quite challenging and you see what is happening all over the world due to uh, this to a degree there are other factors which play a role as well so anyhow we'll be looking at the next uh, 15 days i am positive about them uh, for two reasons uh, the sun i like i said to create this b6 style which is benevolent which can give us even better financial time better supportive time for the business let's say also it is so that um the, the retrograde cycle like i mentioned is not a bad thing and um actually <laughs> when mars moves into uh, leo this is a bit less afflictive afflicting 
than while he will be while he's in um, in cancer. Now, um, of course, um, we should not forget Mercury receives square from Saturn, um, which yes, uh, Mercury is. Um, representing speech, uh, business, communication, travel, and literally this is what we see, affliction of free speech. Mm, yes, nothing new here. So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is happening with the appearance of the first lunar crescent, which is happening uh, on June 19. This is Babylonian Duos, the first um, uh, day of the Babylonian month Duos. We are all, we're looking at the 20th of June, <laughs> excuse me. So on the 20th of June, we'll be under the uh, influence of the energies of um, Gemini. Like um, we will have the chance to, um, you know, to, to study, to teach others, to... Um, also, uh, again, I repeat, Jupiter is making a very good aspect. It's like a blessing, truly. So any philosophical activity, even travel could be uh, could be blessed, uh, could be blessed, you know. Of course, when it comes to new business, I will repeat, I, I will not often um, give you good dates for new business because I, when it comes to election, choosing good timings for event, I am a little bit, um, I'm, I'm very uh, selective. Let's say you need date for surgery. I would really search for a good date because uh, there is no place for risk there. When it comes for business too, you cannot take just any a uh, new, uh, new moon, and, and only because we know that the Waxy moon is appropriate for new beginnings, this doesn't mean that the Waxy moon is appropriate for any new beginning. If you want your business to run well, you really need very good placements. Venus, Saturn and, and Jupiter are well placed, but you need very good placement of Venus, which is not the case. Even after she moves into Leo, she will be afflicted by Saturn. So really, for good businesses, um, I will not really advise you to use this new uh, appearance of the moon. But for some minor matters, uh, teaching, studying, uh, travel, uh, let's say um, starting study projects, let's say continuing uh, education, dealing with uh, property matters, Jupiter Saturn trine. Uh, and be six star from the moon. This could be very nice. Uh, researching, starting new research, continuing of um, abundant studies. Studies, let's say, <clears throat> could be could be very nice. So, of course, for agriculture, for planting, still is gorgeous. Um, both um, trees, flowers, uh, vegetables. It's it's really brilliant moment with this appearance of the new moon. And we're talking already about the 20th of June, which would be Tuesday, first lunar crescent, first of dues. Now, uh, what else you can use this for? Beauty procedures, honestly, not. Medical interventions, not. Um, because Venus needs to be very, very well placed for you. Then we have the 21st of June, which is the second of dues. And here the moon is conjoined star Mm, which is start of, of the scientists uh, with Venus, with Mars. Well, pretty emotional, when, <laughs> very good for spiritual practices, very good for, well, well, this can be good for, uh, yes, um, doing things for your house, um, doing empathic work, helping others. Mm for a spiritual practices very good for new beginnings well like i explained you to you already it could be good for uh, meditation being on your own let's say healing practices you may travel no affliction this is fine uh, medical interventions no this is 21st of june i forgot to say see i forgot the on the on the 20th which was a tuesday i forgot to say the gemstone is um the day is ruled by mars so if you're welcoming the sun you imagine the aura around yourselves to be red and you can wear red um red garnet let's say 
And now we're talking already about the 21st of June, uh, second lunar day, you welcome the sun. You imagine the aura around yourself to be light green and you can wear emerald because it's a Wednesday day of Mercury. And now we continue with the 22nd of June, which is Thursday. And now a uh, similar situation, good for medical practices, not for uh, medical interventions, mm, for healing, helping others, doing things for your home, helping your parents. Um, research, study is great. Uh, agriculture, brilliant. Mm, it's a Thursday, so you welcome the sun. You know, Jupiter is ruling the day. Imagine him around yourself making a light orange aura and you can wear citrine. And then we have um, 23rd of June. Uh, this is fourth lunar day. This is uh, Friday. The moon is, no excuse me. So the moon is not in very benevolent degrees, but still degrees which can help you to, well, to fight anxieties, worries, melancholy, to become brave, to, to fight um, depression. This could be a very good day for this, for that purpose. Mm, the day is not appropriate for medical interventions, not for new beginnings. I wouldn't even travel on this day if I can avoid, of course. It is not good for new initiatives neither is good for beauty procedures and we're talking about friday day of the moon you welcome the sun you know the moon is ruling the day you imagine the aura around yourself to be uh did i say the moon apologies it is venus i, I keep thinking about the moon so the moon is ruling the day because it's friday so imagine the aura you're welcoming the sun you imagine the aura around yourself is light white and you can wear rose quartz and it is a day of Venus. And now we're having Saturday, 24th of June, for fifth lunar day. Again, gorgeous day for fighting anxiety, melancholy, to regain your self-love, self-esteem. Very good. It is a good day to um, uh, fight fears, to organize yourself, <clears throat> to start new beginning in organizing yourself, let's say. It is also not appropriate for medical interventions, neither for travel, neither for beauty procedures, such is the day. But it is a Saturday of Saturn. You welcome the sun, you know, Saturn is ruling the day. You imagine the aura around yourself is light. Mm, first of all, you know, you welcome the sun. You imagine the aura around yourself is light um, uh, amethyst color or, or dark blue, and you can wear amethyst, let's say. And now we're having... Uh, Sunday, 25th of June, 6th lunar day. Again, great for astrology, serious, other serious esoteric studies like numerology, for example. Great for research, for study, for teaching others, fighting anxiety, melancholy, regaining your self-esteem. Not good for new beginnings, not good for beauty procedures, not good for medical interventions, no. It is Sunday, day of the sun. You welcome the sun. The sun is ruling the day. And you imagine the light, um, beautiful red aura of the sun around yourselves. And you can wear a ruby. And now we're having uh, June 26th, seventh lunar day. Mm, this is Monday, day of the moon. The moon is in very beautiful degrees for study. On this day, see, this is better day for new beginnings and even for new business already because now we have Saturn, Jupiter, Sextile. We have Jupiter, Sextile to the Sun and Mercury in Gemini. And you have the moon also in a sign ruled by Mercury. So for trade, for new projects related to... Um, education, knowledge, even trade, commerce, you can start such things. You can travel, you can negotiate, you can teach others. You can, you can learn, you can restart education, you can start new education. It's a great, great day for that. Um, also, 
It is a good day to, to give speech, to start media project, to do media work, really very good. So yes, this is, see, this is one very good day. Uh, any so such new beginnings would be quite uh, benevolent for you also because the moon is waxing. You can also medical interventions, yes, if they're not invasive and beauty procedures not in particular but it's also not against and this is monday seventh lunar day a little bit critical so every step of what you're doing should be a little bit more careful you should be a little bit more careful and this is a day ruled by the moon you you welcome the sun you imagine the aura around yourself is light green let's say and you can wear a pearl and now we're having also um moon uh, is still in Virgo in very good degrees very benevolent for same work what I listed like uh, media projects um, negotiations uh, travel commerce uh, and this is a Tuesday 8 lunar day you welcome the sun you know um, Mars is ruling the day you imagine red all around yourselves and you can wear a ruby no, not really good for medical interventions unless they are not invasive for planting for agriculture is good so it's a good day and now we have wednesday 28th of uh, june ninth lunar day now the moon is not in very good degrees but still is quite fine to travel to negotiate even uh, no medical interventions no new beginnings really so much no Mm, it is good also for teaching others, studying. Um, this is 28th of June, Wednesday, day of Mercury. Good for maintaining your work, for commercial work, for negotiations. Wednesday, you welcome the sun, you know, the um, Mercury is ruling the day. You imagine all around yourself is um, light green and you can wear emerald. And now we're looking at uh, 29th of June, which is Thursday, day of Jupiter. Um, this day actually is fine for new beginnings re related to what? Uh, medium um, design also to a degree. Uh, arranging your uh, bookkeeping, administration, accountancy. It is good for creative activities. It is good to, you can travel, yes, you can negotiate. It's a big trine on the sky, a big trine, very good thing, actually. It is very good to, uh, because of the balance which this big trine is making on the sky, to restore peace with somebody, to negotiate in order to achieve peace, to, um, well, it is also very good for, um, arranging your all your all your administration your business it is day good for the business as well and this is uh, 29th of june thursday day of jupiter you welcome the sun you know jupiter is ruling the day you imagine your aura after you welcome the sun your aura will be light um, orange and you can wear citrine it's a very good day to you know, to restore balance to balance your business to balance your home to balance yourself um, it's great for studies, for teaching others. Very interesting day. Then we have uh, 30th of uh, June, uh, which is uh, already uh, Friday. The moon here is also in good degrees. Quite similar activities, but I wouldn't advise new beginnings to be um, launched on this day. But still, you can teach others, negotiate, maintain your business, arrange your administration, restore balance one more time to say. And it's a Friday, uh, day of uh, Venus, uh, 30th of June, 11th lunar day. You welcome the sun, you know, the, the, the aura around yourself is light pink and you can wear a quartz. And now we're having the moon passing. This is already Saturday, 31st of June. Uh, yes, the month. The, oh, no, the month. Sorry, it is 1st of July. The, moon, the month has only 30 days. So we're talking about Saturday, 1st of July, 12th lunar day. 
the moon is in sacred hermetic degrees. Amazing for research, um, gaining, well, receiving uh, really results from your research and work, great knowledge, healing, um, natural sciences, connection with the nature, mm, very, very interesting uh, degree of the moon. Uh, and actually the moon is um, great also for um, spiritual practices, but like deep, your own spiritual practices. Uh, it is great even for, um, well, it will give you great results when you apply healing. A spiritual work I mentioned many times because this is the, the emphasis and it is Saturn the day of Saturn you welcome the sun you know Saturn is ruling the day and you imagine the aura around yourself to be um, amethyst color and you can wear an amethyst on this day I wouldn't travel I wouldn't make new beginnings any new beginnings I wouldn't uh, make medical interventions just do you know really things for myself and healing and so on and for others of course then you have 2nd of july which is uh sunday same thing uh not very same but uh, in the same in pretty same direction the moon is in degrees which are very much about nature healing connecting with nature um, it is great for meditation research finding the truth researching the truth degrees which are very benevolent for any uh, spiritual practice this is monday this is sunday they have the sun they have the sun you welcome the sun you know the aura around yourself is orange red you get the healing of the sun and you can wear a ruby on this day but really no medical interventions no new beginnings on this day mm. then we have um Monday, 3rd of June, 14th lunar day. We are approaching the full moon already, which will happen in Sagittarius, Gemini, spiritual, sidereal, and very spiritual, very lofty, very special place because the degrees in Gemini very near the Milky Way. A very, uh, yeah, spiritual, lofty, philosophical degrees. Uh, but this is on the 3rd of July. Monday, day of the moon, you welcome the sun, you know, the moon is ruling the day, you imagine the aura around yourself is light green and you can wear a pearl and no medical interventions, mainly spiritual practices, you can teach the others, you can um, study, you can do a lot for yourself, a very good day. Then we have already the full moon, the full moon is taking place. Uh, Monday to Tuesday, 4th of uh, July, 15th lunar day. Like I said, right on uh, the axis of Gemini, uh, Sagittarius, in the vicinity of the nebula of Sagittarius. Nebula, you know, is a cloud. It's a cluster of many, many stars which form something like a cloud. The cloud, the nebula can have two meanings, a little bit extreme, uh, different from each other it, uh, the nebula can be very lofty very spiritual can give amazing spiritual results to people major awakening seeing truth seeing the truth opening eyes but nebula can also close eyes so as you see you know it can be really it's up to our choice which road we will be you know taken so this is about the nebula and yes, this will be what the, 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 the meaning of this full moon, you know, happening right on the axis of information and blinding and lofty ideals and beautiful spirituality and awakening and lots of, of information. Um, yes, so this will be very uh, benevolent, very interesting, but we'll be looking at this with an, in the next uh, analysis. This was my, these were my 15 days uh, day by day from the appearance of the new moon on the 19th of june so see you very soon with another video all the best ladies and gentlemen